Mic check, everyday superpower. Where we talk body language, we talk relationships, game, human dynamics, everything in between. Today we're going to talk about femininity and masculinity. Feminine principles and behaviours, masculine principles and behaviours, and masculine and feminine energy and so forth. And I'm going to talk about women in particular. Um, is this going to be a rant more so of a healthy discussion, you tell me? But it's a little bit of food for thought and something worth discussing. Um, when you deal with so many women, you start to open your eyes to... Well, not only do you open your eyes, when you start to decipher and break down what you may perceive as a masculine behavior or principle and the feminine behavior and principle and when you look at man and woman and the traditional biological hardwiring within them and then we look at the societal pressures to act in one way and another way um, aside uh, or should I say you know uh, in contrast to our primitive and biological nature and you find this ever progressive subversion from the powers that be upon us as people as the men start to become effeminate and start to get called toxic for having masculine values and principles traditional values are shunned and the woman is told to take on this masculine principle because she's more than enough, which is definite. We are all more than enough, right? But let's talk about it. So when you're young and naive, and not necessarily when you're young and naive, but when you are ignorant to the information, it's very easy to get in. A relationship with somebody who doesn't necessarily correlate with you as a man down to the fact your masculine energy is not parallel to their femininity we have a balance of feminine and masculine within each and all of us and there's nothing wrong with that it's a beautiful thing to embrace some of your feminine characteristics your creativity your intuition to read the body of others is feminine by default regardless as that's a skill and trait that is implemented within the woman's survival mechanism so we have to more so learn it on a intentional level as opposed to a inbuilt process so to embrace what the feminine has is not a bad thing, such as the woman embracing a masculine side of things. But there comes a problem. Now we can do a different video on there coming a problem when the man enters the feminine space and um, is in the dating market and is struggling because these women aren't finding them attractive because they're not accentuating what it is to be an attractive man. But we're going to leave that for another one. We're going to talk about the women because, man, I experience this all too often. When you are dealing with a woman who is within her feminine in relation to you, because I do think it's dynamic. That woman is more than happy to be masculine to a man who pedestalizes her and puts themselves below her, puts her in dominant position, no doubt. Then that dynamic can switch the communication of how that woman is dealing with that individual in comparison to you. But when you are dealing with women who are happy to be in their feminine around you, comfortable and confident, to embrace their submissive nature in a fantastic way in relation to how you care and provide for them and ensure they feel safe in your masculine. Because you're, you know, although it's submissive position, it's not necessarily indicative of that person being, you know, 
the lesser of the two. It's just the balance. Because you in your role have to go out of your way to put yourself in harm's way and fight against some uncomfortable realities of being put in that position, right? So both the dominant and the submissive have their own pros and cons. And whereas the woman exists within the feminine and the submissive, the man should naturally be obliged to exist within the dominant and the masculine. But when we're not taught these things, because we're taught the counter opposite by the media and through the social engineering at place, which is completely intentional, it's completely intentional uh, in order to confuse us and have us working against the social norms. Uh, biblically speaking, you know who looks over this world and that person is a liar. So if you were to look at it from that perspective, it makes complete sense, right? There is an evil that speaks to us through the advertisement, the programming, i.e. the television programming, interesting use of words, right? And the social emphasis in particular agendas and stuff I'm not going to discuss, but when that woman falls into that feminine, you find a beauty that you don't find in a woman who is independent and which in independent is a masculine trait independence is a masculine trait career driven right i'm not gonna have children until it starts to get a little bit funny and then i have to pressure myself to have children it might not work out that way because i'm too busy making money for a man that isn't my partner in a company that cares nothing for me do you see how weird that is? But I don't blame these women because they have been placed into this position by a society that has weaponized the idea of feminine empowerment and says, you can do everything that man does. You just go and work in that workplace. Now we need both of you to create income on both sides in order for you to live in that same space which you would have been able to fund with just one of you working. Congratulations, you're equals now. How can't we be equals on the positives of both the masculine and the feminine principles? Why do we have to be equals on the negatives? Isn't that weird? So, with the masculine comes babysitting the children. Having a third party come in and look after our own children because we are career driven and that's way more important than the old fashioned and old natured traditional aspect of the nuclear family. Which, what's the nuclear family I mean? Over here in the Western world, more than half of the divorces are happening and most of them are being actioned by the women. Why is this happening? It's just normal, right? So there comes a point where you acknowledge these factors and you I've had experience with combative women who just want to argue. And don't get me wrong, it's not that you are falling for it. Because as a man, you should know to not sit around arguing all day. But they still act stubborn. And they still can't take order. Not that that has to be a thing. But such as the balance of feminine and masculine, there's a balance of dominance and submission within everybody and we as men will submit to our partners when it makes complete sense if you need a helping hand me as your other half if i can provide that assistance why would i not do that you know there's tests and there's this that and the third but if it aligns and makes sense at that particular time of course i'm going to help the person i love the most to be generous is to be seductive People are attracted to generous people. Not people who give to everyone and anyone, but people who are... who understand the transactional value of generosity. There comes an exchange of energy when you work within them realms. So... 
So when you deal with women who feel like it's okay to just be argumentative and to pipe up and truth be told a lot of it comes down to insecurity the way they feel that they have to do this they've come from powerful mothers who don't respect their husbands and so they've been brought up with this perspective of this is how it has to be There's a lack of understanding that the most valuable thing to a man is his peace. I feel sorry for the men who are in marriages and relationships where every day is a war and a battle between the two. Because he can't identify himself with who he truly is and he is not understanding of who he is. And she thinks she's somebody else and perceives him as lesser than her due to the relationship and the communications they have. Yes, you can put a woman into her feminine by playing your position well, but some women act or have been indoctrinated into this space further down the spectrum away from the femininity and into the masculine that sometimes it's not worth even trying you know there's nothing wrong with sharing masculine and feminine energies but I don't know if you have experienced this to handle a woman who is within her feminine and acts as such and acts accordingly not in a way that is lesser than you in a way that is actually quite literally equal to you once you compare and contrast that to its counter opposite which is that of a masculine life path You'll never go back and you'll start to... I said at the end of one of the videos, I mean, every man is on his journey, but there are certain aspects. If, if, it, if it is worth me caring about, I, if it's actually a part of my life, if I'm trying to learn from something or if I'm trying to observe something or if I'm in a literal space with an individual of sorts, there is a weakness from a man that just touches me ever so deep and the parallel to a weak man is a woman in this overt masculine mental space you know it's disgusting to me it's disgusting to me it comes across unnatural, it's the whole uncanny valley situation. I think, where has this behaviour come from? You know, there's a lot of uh, unhappy, untaken women out there who continue to work on these masculine ideals and put it out there that I don't need this man. And they can't help but talk about it all the time. It's always being put out there. What was it that Shakespeare says? you protest too much or something in relation to somebody who was trying to conceal the counter opposite the moment you pipe down and you behave accordingly as to what your biological truth is then you will realize that things come to you more naturally yeah literally nature naturally so that's a little discussion in regards to that i'm not a fan of it you know, um, people say, oh, abolish gender roles and this and that. But there's a reason. There is a reason. There's a reason why these kids are born and act the way they do outside of any form of social conditioning or engineering. That young boy likes to build stuff and break stuff down and kick around and get dirty with his friends whilst the girls gossip and chitter chatter within the same space. There's a reason this isn't influenced. This is your biological reality. 
And when we stray away from that and grow up and feel like we can say abolish it, that's so naive. You know? With that being said, I'm signing out. We've got uploads each and every day, so click like and subscribe. And with that being said, I've got two links down in the description of the video. One of them will take you through to the catalog of body language. Over 220 videos of how to read people through their subconscious behaviours. It's free of charge because it's a YouTube playlist. Second to that is the Patreon, where you'll join me in watching videos of people going on their first dates. I'll break down the attraction body language and the repulsion body language. You'll see that manifest in the world around you because it's hardwired in everyone. And then that's game you won't learn elsewhere. I'm signing out, people. Peace.